Well, welcome back to the big board. Uh, I've got this zoomed in, in a little bit, so it's probably going to be a little shaky. Uh, this is the site of the Sedan uh, crossing, and uh, we're, uh, we're going to have some problems here as the French. The French have already started to move forces up, and uh, there's not a whole lot of anything that's strong. And as we pan back, uh, you can see various units that are angled in one direction that are uh, have all moved. I'm making a very minor counterattack as the French player here, I'm trying to hit this artillery piece and uh, bang in through the Ardennes in to interrupt supply. I'm also uh, taking this entire 5th uh, Cav and attacking this MG unit, just for shits and giggles. And uh, quite possibly taking on these uh, armoured cars here. I'm not expecting any of those attacks to go particularly well, but if I can force an option, i.e. a retreat, then you know that's a good thing. In the meantime, I've been looking at the uh, situation over in Belgium. And I've reinforced Belgium with the first motorized, French first motorized. But, uh, you know, uh, I've got a few guys to move over there to in Antwerp. I've got to keep a fairly strong hold on the Antwerp area because we, uh, according to the VC conditions, I need to keep these units, these ports open. And I also need not to allow the British to be mauled, which is... Uh, a percentage of losses metric, basically, and there are VPs for that. There are also VPs for controlling back over here on the southern side of the map, Verdun and Metz. And I, I, <clears throat> I have a feeling that I can do that uh, because I can trace supply fairly easily and it's going to be a big, a, a, a hard slog for the Germans to come out of there and take Paris, which is down here, the ports, and this. So they're going to have to make some choices about what their, what their goals are. Uh, don't forget, we've also got this breakthrough here in Liege. It's only uh, one hex wide at the moment, but uh, there's lots of follow-up forces coming from the Germans uh, to that area. Uh, in fact, there's an SS Panzer Division just down there. So it's an interesting situation, and one thing that after reading the oh, reading the victory conditions, I'm not sure uh, that it's even worthwhile trying to hold those ports, or Belgium for that matter. Let those fall. Uh, we've already lost uh, the Netherlands, so let them fall, and then make a strong defensive line uh, somewhere suitable, I don't know where. Uh, I think I in one of the posts I have I've got three defensive lines and one of them starts here. So there's a river line, this river line here I think is a good uh, a good place to start. And have some sort of defense in depth. We've got 14 turns we need to hang on to Paris. If I keep Paris and avoid a mauling by the British units, so let them get in the fight but not lose too many steps. And I can keep one or both of Metz Verdun, then uh, the, the French can eke out a draw, which is the historical result. Uh, that seems to me to be a fairly doable task at this point, but who knows, uh, these are really fragile units. Most of these guys in this turn will help me understand a little bit more about, you know, what we can and can't do. I've also got uh, the where is the so I've got the second armored here in reserve at Rathel and a stack of uh, uh, just a couple of armored units here. They're fairly weak and some artillery uh, in reserve here. I intend to use. Uh, artillery aggressively if I have the supply to do so and the means with which to throw that supply into the combat and right now uh, we're struggling a little bit with that.
but uh, we'll we'll sort that out. All right, that's uh, just a quick little update. We're kind of half to three quarters of the way through the movement turn of uh, turn two for the French.